A concept that comes up every once in a while is the idea of two matrices being similar. And two matrices are similar when you've got an invertible matrix P such that one matrix is P inverse times the other matrix times P. A couple of things before we go and worry too much about this. First thing to realize is that this is not the same as row equivalent. In general, row operations are going to change. It just, they're unrelated concepts. So let's take a look at an example here. Let's say my matrix B is 3, negative 1, 4, negative 5. Now I can take a matrix P, let's say 2, 1, 5, 3. Now I set this thing up very nicely so that it's got a nice whole number inverse. That would be 3, negative 1, negative 5, 2. And so if I take P inverse BP, so I would take 3, negative 1, negative 5, 2 times 3, negative 1, 4, negative 5 times 2, 1, 5, 3. And I multiply this out. Let's go ahead and just do left to right here. If I multiply these two, I get 9 minus 4 is 5. I get negative 1 plus 5, or negative 3 plus 5 is 2. I get negative 15 plus 8 is negative 7. And I get 5 minus 10 is negative 5. And again, so I get 10 plus 10 is 20. 5 plus 6 is 11. Negative 14 minus 25 is negative 39. And negative 7 minus 15, negative 22. So, by our definition, this matrix is similar to B. This matrix and that matrix are similar. Why is this important? Well, the big thing is that similar matrices have the same eigenvalues. Why is that? Well, let's say that A is P inverse BP. We've got these two similar matrices. To find the, the eigenvalues of A, we take the determinant of A minus lambda I. Well, that's the same thing as then the determinant of P inverse BP minus lambda I. But now we're going to be a little bit clever. I is P inverse P. So I can rewrite this as a P inverse times B minus lambda I times P. And remember, when we take a determinant of a product, that's the same thing as the determinants of each one separately multiplied together. But multiplications, when we're talking about just numbers, which determinants are just numbers, those are commutative. The matrix multiplication is not commutative. But now we're just talking about, whole, about real numbers. And so this is the same thing as the determinant of B minus lambda I times the determinant of P inverse 
times the determinant of p. But another thing we proved is that the determinants of inverse matrices are reciprocals of each other. So these multiply together to get 1, and so the determinant of a minus lambda i is the same thing as the determinant of b minus lambda i. That is, they have the same zeros. They have the same characteristic polynomial. So there we go. Similar matrices have the same eigenvalues. Now, in the long run, actually the fact that they've got the same eigenvalues, sometimes it comes up. It's not a really, really key thing. But this concept of similarity actually is something that comes up over and over again. The concepts that we of similarity, they're just nice things that we can do if we've got similar matrices. So we'll certainly be coming back to and looking at similar matrices again as we go on.